All right, everyone. I uh, went through and already booked main event, and I went through and did the grades, and I didn't even think to record, but I did this. So it's be a nice, quick, short little part of the video. I had Shelton Benjamin versus Tyson Kidd. I had Shelton Benjamin win, and that was just a throwaway match. And then I had Crime Time, the Dust Brothers argue, which led to the main event. After that, I had Adrian Neville beat Heath Slater. And then next week, I think Neville's going to fight Drew McIntyre. And that will be the end of their little feud. And then right after, I had a White Family and Shield video. Because the White Family tag team are going to face Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins tonight. And then I had a, a talk show with Corey Graves insulting Sami Zayn. But Sami Zayn attacks Corey Graves. And then the main event was the Dust Brothers. Defeated Crime Time to retain the WWE World Tag Team titles. And as it says, you Shad and Gaspar and JTG, JTG far too much. Because they were used for like 25 minutes. And for someone booked as openers, they really shouldn't be booked more than 10. So I'm going to get smacked on going here in a minute. And then I'll talk to you in a second. Alright, here's SmackDown with two weeks ago. This is the second last SmackDown before the Nation Chamber. And this is just going to build just about every match that's going to be on the card. Here, I started it off with Kofi Kingston and Corey Graves, and just a thoroughly match with Kofi picking up the win, and I'm glad it got a good rating. Right after, it was uh, John Cena started, like, it was when John Cena came out, talked about what's going on with him and Batista, like, they've been having confrontations, and then Jericho comes out and tells them, neither of them are going to win at the Elimination Chamber, he's going to become the next world champ, blah, blah, blah. And then they set up the main event for later in the night. And here is uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus Mark Henry and Big E. And with Mark Henry and Big E picking up the clean victory. And what this is going to lead to in a elimination chamber is going to be Dust Brothers, Real Americans, Big E, and Mark Henry. As all of them have a win over each other. Well, except Mark Henry and Big E haven't been beaten yet, I believe. Then here is uh, Alberto Del Rio, Dolph Ziggler. They brawl because of what happened on Raw with Alberto destroying Ziggler's Royal Rumble win, like his uh, win celebration. And wow, that really got a really good rating. And every time you try to look Alberto Del Rio in the entertainment thing, he doesn't like being scripted. And I feel like that's because he's very manipulative, because like his uh, personality trait is. Because with this game, there's a lot of like personality traits, and he, for some reason, has a very negative effect on people. Right after is uh, R Truth jobbing out to Sami Zayn in a five minute short match. And this is the push Sami Zayn and R Truth's contract is up in a month, and I'm not going to resign him because I just don't have any plans for him. So I'm trying to like get rid make him, make people most popular off him as I can. Then uh, right after that was John Morrison versus Zara, with uh, Wade Barrett coming out and costing John Morrison another victory. Just, you know, Wade Barrett's still mad at John for costing him the title shot. Here's uh, Damien Sandow and Rey Mysterio agreeing for a title match in the Elimination Chamber because overall, uh, Rey Mysterio beat, uh, who was it? I don't remember who it was, but yeah, Rey Mysterio beat whoever in its IC title match in the Nation Chamber. And then here in the Shield versus the Wyatt family. And it's a very solid match. I'm glad that both of them have excellent chemistry, both teams. And I'm like, me, if I continue doing this past WrestleMania, which I'm considering, I'm going to keep the Wyatt family together for a very long time. Unless I feel like turning brave face down the line. Then right after the match, the Shield picked up the victory there because Bray Wyatt beat Dean at uh, Raw. So, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins beat the tag team on SmackDown. You know, make it even, it's like even style booking like WWE is very known to do nowadays. And they did Brawl right after the match. Here's a promo where Chris Jericho gives a promo of uh, the Elimination Chamber opponents. And then here's Chris Jericho and John Cena's match with a hell of a rating. And if you uh, go to the creative 
meeting where it's just like and it shows people who are actually having uh whose like rates are declining and who's like starting towards end their career john cena is actually starting to show signs of like deteriorating so he's not i don't want him to be like the face of my company anymore so like he's still gonna be an upper echelon guy it's just he's not gonna be the focal point and uh chris jerkin won from interference after batista Another very good SmackDown rating. I think the second week in a row it's been 90 or higher. And if you notice, looking at all the segments, I normally go match, segment, match, segment. I don't like doing two matches after each other. I really have no reason to it. It's just I don't want to have, like, in-ring action for a really long period of time. Like, I feel like that would get annoying. Like, I know WWE makes a conscious effort to have something in between matches, like even the announcers talking. They don't like it in like a match and then right after immediately another match. So thank you for watching. I'll post this video, post the next video up shortly. Now here is what I was talking about right right a minute two seconds ago. With like these are people who in ring careers just slowing down. And if you see Archer's at the top, and like his ratings are just dropping, like free falling. And so, I'm gonna job him out, and then he's gone by March. So he don't expect him at WrestleMania. Batista, I don't see. I could use him maybe the same way they did and have him leave after payback. Goldust, I was gonna do the Cody Rhodes and Goldust feud, but I figured. Someone's probably doing that on like the other Reddit challenge, and then uh, Cody Rhodes can turn heel, and I didn't want to turn Goldust heel as it wouldn't make sense to me. Mark Henry actually I think he's gonna retire at WrestleMania, and then here we're about seeing it like see his ratings aren't gonna drop right now, but at, like a year from now his ratings will start dropping really fast, and I just figured I'd share that. And if you look here, there's some morale problems. Caitlyn has been up. Her contract's only going to be up. I'll talk about the Divas in a moment. But here, Daniel Bryan and Chris Jericho are upset because of the Royal Rumble. Because Dolph Ziggler won. His popularity is only 70 and theirs is like 90. That didn't keep them strong or anything. make them happier because it would have took away from Dolph's win. And it would have made the match worse. And then with Triple H, he's upset because him and Chris Jericho don't like each other according to the game but they seem like they're fine people now and I also hired someone else I think it was Rob Van Dam him and Triple H don't like each other either, either. and then Archer is upset because he's been jobbing a lot now with the Divas you can tell I haven't had any Divas on my shows recently and it's not really it's a conscious effort I put them I gave all of the women three months vacation time and I'll probably bring him back after WrestleMania if I continue after WrestleMania. And I like didn't do that because I just didn't feel like having them because they didn't really fit. Because looking at what I have set for WrestleMania, I think I have 10 or 11 matches. 3, 6, 9. I have 11 matches set and I don't want to, like, I don't know, I feel like a Divas match wouldn't have been lost in the shuffle in my mind or something. But yeah, if I continue after WrestleMania, I will do Divas, and I'll probably get rid of some that I can't like perform in ring or I don't like, and then bring some in. So down the line, we'll see about that. So this is that in this video. I will continue both wrestling, get next to Raw, have that up maybe tomorrow, maybe. In